forecast. Well, we've had a lot of big headlines this morning, but we have an even bigger headline right here at NBC5, a very special announcement to make. Our very own Marissa Vajevani is an engaged woman this morning, <laughs> and we are so excited for Marissa. Marissa, tell us all about the special day yesterday. Well, it was beautiful weather-wise. We weren't dealing with snow or rain. It was a gorgeous sunny day, and we went to the Queechee Gorge, and that's where he got down on one knee. It was super, super special. I'd never been to the Queechee area to enjoy before of course for snow coverage we get diverted that way but to really be there and enjoy that with him and my sister and his sister came up to surprise us and capture all the photos that so was really amazing well all of us at NBC5 love Marissa and Matt they have been together for many many years so this has been a long time coming and we are just so excited to celebrate them and all of our future endeavors thank you guys so much and we love, love you guys so much oh, we love you we I love my family here so welcoming I wouldn't have wanted to get engaged in any other state than Vermont so now Queechee has a special is a special spot for now me. it's a special spot we'll have to go <laughs> back there and celebrate eventually oh for sure and I'm still so full for my meal last night at Simon Pierce it was amazing <laughs> oh I'm so jealous of that hopefully when we go back next time it'll be a little bit warmer in Queechee though and we can oh. see it when the flowers are starting to bloom but for now <laughs> no, we're not going to be quite there yet for no, a while we're, we're not quite there yet unfortunately it's in the single digits in the Queechee area like right now and it is cold especially in Saranac Lake, negative nine is the best we can do there. Negative one in both St. Jay and Newport, and 10 degrees in both Rutland and Bennington right now. I will tell you, though, as we look out to the temperatures in the Ohio Valley, temperatures are, again, relatively speaking, milder in the 40s. Now, that warm air will be moving in as we head into the next couple days here, but that unfortunately does come with some rain. As we show you Storm Tracker, you can see it's raining in Detroit and in portions of East. Eastern Ohio. That's ahead of a warm front that will move through Tuesday. And I'll more on that in just a second. But right now, it's mostly clear across Vermont. Some higher clouds moving into New, into New York. We'll likely have some nice sunrises this morning, so be sure to send them our way if you want us to check those out. So our temperatures will warm to the 40s and even close to 50 by Tuesday. So very above average temperature wise, and then temperatures get much cooler once that front passes on by. Futurecast shows those higher clouds clouds kind of building and becoming more dense into later on this afternoon. It's not until overnight tonight and very early tomorrow morning some light snow starts to develop, mainly in central and southern Vermont and into portions of Essex County, New York. There could be a few flurries that make it here into the Champlain Valley, but not accumulating all that much. There may be a few slick spots by very early tomorrow morning. Other than that, we'll be mostly dry for Monday, but it will be mostly cloudy. Not a lot of sunshine to go around. We're stuck with the stubborn clouds. Then, Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday morning, there will be steady rain moving through and some downpours. But most of it's actually cleared out by 7, 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and we're already breaking out into a few peaks of sunshine. So really not an impactful weather week, at least for the next couple of days here. In terms of how much rain we're talking, a couple tenths of an inch. And again, those higher amounts will likely be in southern Vermont, so nothing compared to what we saw just a few days ago here. And in terms of the light, snow we have moving through later on a dusting to maybe a couple inches in areas a just about Randolph point south and maybe two to four inches for Newcomb and portions of southern Essex County. Now the wind will be picking up late Monday into Tuesday. We could see gusts anywhere between 20 and maybe 35 miles per hour at times as that front makes its way through and we'll finally start to see the wind diminish by Tuesday evening. But I do want to show you what happens Wednesday into Thursday. Some snow starts to move in for the mountains and we'll likely see a wintry mix by in the valleys, I should say. So it's not looking super impactful. It's moving pretty quickly. We don't have any snowfall maps for you just yet, but maybe a plowable snow or a few inches of snow in the mountains. Not so much here in our neck of the woods. It gets much colder after that system goes on by, though. 25 the high on Friday with a low of 18.